It's time for my impressions for today. And, uh, you know, I don't often do this, but uh, sometimes Kumaran is just a genius and he doesn't even know it. In the interview with uh, Tiffany, he spoke about, he said something that I thought was so poignant. It was about the fact that she was having, that the issue was really not whether she should be going into a branch or I into a, a um, franchise model. But this was actually her journey in her personal development. In other words, that she had to grow into her, her, herself as an entrepreneur. And I thought that was such an important point. Uh, and so I want to call my impressions today, uh, you are a version of yourself. Not virgin, but you are a version of yourself. So let's talk about five things to think about when, when I say that. So on this entrepreneurial journey, you see these people up, up there and they are so successful and you here at the beginning of your journey and you're thinking, well, those people are clever and they're educated and they're all these things. But when you go into the research, you find that most of the people who are running successful businesses started exactly the same way as you did. So what was it that made them uh, become successful? What was going on? How were they thinking of the world? So. The first frame that you have to weigh, the thing that you have to accept is that successful people grew. They did not appear. These people did not appear there. They grew into those successful entrepreneurs. And you too can grow into a successful entrepreneur. Number two is accept that you will make mistakes as an entrepreneur. That even those ones that are up there who have done extremely well that we all see on TV and the front cover of magazines. They too made many, many mistakes, and the really brave ones will talk about how many mistakes that they made. So don't be afraid of making mistakes on your way up to becoming that su successful entrepreneur. Number three is be prepared to, to get advice. I think advice is it's free generally. You've got lots of people in your network that you can tap into, and even if you have to pay for advice, advice is so important at different stages of your growth. I can point out in the various stages of my growth, the people I spoke to gave me either the insight, the courage, the direction to move to the next level. So do accept that you need advice on this journey. Number four, seek out the personal stories of people who have gone through that growth journey and listen to how their journey went. They are incredible role models. Most of these people came from where you are or even in worse situations and listen to how they re-engineered their view of themselves on that journey up. They'll be incredible inspiration to you on your journey up. And then my last point is back yourself before you back others. Before you think that somebody else can do a job better than you, back yourself first. Rather go in and try it and fail first then not to try it all and think somebody else can do a better job. Back yourself before you back others.